in this video we will find the expression of Reynolds number experimentally it has been observed that the critical velocity of fluid depends on the following factors like first one the coefficient of viscosity second one the density of fluid rho and third one the length of the tube through which the fluid flow that is L okay so we can say that this critical velocity Vc proportional to eta to the power a rho to the power b and L to the power c here a b and c all are constant from this Vc equal to r eta to the power a rho to the power b L to the power c here r is the proportionality constant that is called the Reynolds number okay now from this equation we can say that dimension of Vc that is equals to dimension of this total quantity that is r eta to the power a root of the power b and l to the power c now Reynolds number is a dimensionless quantity so we can ignore it and the remaining terms dimension of eta to the power a into dimension of rho to the power b into dimension of l to the power c ok that's equals to dimension of eta whole to the power a into dimension of rho whole to the power b into dimension of l whole to the power c ok now here the dimension of critical velocity is the dimension of velocity that is lt minus 1 and the dimension of eta that is coefficient of viscosity is given by ml minus 1 t to the minus 1 in an, another video we have already found this and the link is given in the description that is the dimension of coefficient of viscosity now the dimension of rho that is the density is ml to the power minus 3 to the power b and dimension of length is l ok now that is equals to m to the power a l to the power minus a t to the power minus a into m to the power b into l to the power minus 3b into l to the power c now summing the power of m we get m to the power a plus b summing the power of l we get l to the power minus a minus 3b plus c and summing the power of t that is minus a now we have to compare with the left hand side now we can take m to the power 0 to the left hand side now we can compare the power of m that is a plus b equal to 0 now that is equation number 1 now comparing the power of L that is minus A minus 3B plus C that is equals to 1 that is equation number 2 and comparing the power of T we get that is minus 1 that is equals to minus A from this A equals to 1 now putting the value of A equal to 1 in equation number 1 we get the value of V that is minus 1 now we have got the value of a and b and we can now easily find the value of c from equation number 2 that is minus a minus 3 into value of b minus 1 plus c equals to 1 and from this c has the value minus 1 ok now we have got the value of a b and c now putting this value on the equation this equation we can get the relation so the equation is like v c equals to r into eta to the power a rho to the power b l to the power c and the value of a is 1 so n to the power 1 value of b is minus 1 and value of c is minus 1 so that's equals to r eta by rho l v c equals to and from this r equal to vc into rho l by eta thus we get the expression of Reynolds number from dimensional analysis